One of my viewers was talking about her liver issues causing elevated ammonia in the blood, so I decided it was about time to talk more about alpha-ketoglutarate. AKG not only has a strong effect on fatty liver disease, but also increases NAD+, reduces reactive oxygen species and mitochondria, detoxifies ammonia in the blood, and much, much more. In fact, there's over 700 processes in the body that we've discovered so far that require AKG to function properly, and most critical of those is the Krebs cycle, without which we'd immediately die. AKG supplementation will short-circuit the Krebs cycle and fuel the final stages of cleanup while bypassing the more messy parts of the Krebs cycle that cause damaging reactive oxygen species, and it also helps directly clean this up as well. That means ROS will be reduced and NAD plus levels in the cells will regenerate. It's a Festivus miracle! Dinner's ready! Let's begin. As we age, many important elements in the body decline, and even when we're young, we may not have optimal levels even if we have perfect nutrition. Thymus activity, for example, peaks around 13 years old and tends to go down more every year, though you can reverse this as I've talked about in other videos. Alpha-ketoglutarate is not a nutrient per se, but a very important chemical in the body and its levels go down dramatically with age, just like NAD plus goes down. And without it, aging occurs much faster. I've mentioned a few times that I take AAKG, but never really explained why. Lately, I've upped the amount I take to three grams. I'll just get that out there now so people won't have to hunt for it later. In many studies, they use 12 grams or even more, but you can have too much of alpha-ketoglutarate and three grams is probably sufficient for all the benefits except for exercise performance. I take it in the form of arginine, AKG, because that's the cheapest form you can get alpha-ketoglutarate. But there's also calcium, AKG, which probably has no additional benefits and is very expensive. Or there's OKG, which is ornithine, AKG, and this may have some additional benefits like stimulating growth hormone, but it's quite a bit more expensive. While well, you've probably heard of NMN ad nauseum by now, AKG is a very important part of energy production within a cell. It actually skips steps in the Krebs cycle to produce more efficient energy, and this triggers the cleanup parts of the process without going through the messy parts of the process that deplete NAD and do many other things that are negative. That allows the cell to rejuvenate its natural levels of these substances, and to lower the amount of ROS produced in the cell. These reactive oxygen species combine with the linoleic acid within the mitochondria to form melondialdehyde, which damages mitochondria. This also drives the process that creates gray hairs in the body. AKG inhibits this process and has been shown to slow graying of hair in mice and even reverse gray hair. This is very exciting because this is something that not many substances are known to do, though it is also known to happen on a low carb diet. This problem is worsened when you have a high carb diet due to elevated triglyceride levels, forcing linoleic acid into the cell. So if you have a high carb diet, you may want to increase the dosage. This is especially bad for vegans as they will be very low in glutathione which is what the body uses to detoxify reactive oxygen species. I felt bad for the kid, but then I moved on. As we age, the mechanisms in the body that create AKG decline, and that leaves our bodies open to degradation. It's been shown in mice that hearing loss was warded off by AKG supplementation, and that stem cell pools were healthier and larger in mice that took it. This is likely why mouse longevity experiments show a 10 to 20% increase in lifespan when mice take AKG in their senior years. They also look and act much younger, which is very encouraging. Tested a whole range of different things in worms that were thought to affect aging. 
and then went to mice. Um, and uh, AKG was, I think, the clear winner among the things we tested. Uh, so this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about a mouse experiment today uh, where we started the intervention at 18 months of age. In this case, we let the mice go to natural death, uh, looked at health span, looked at frailty, looked at a bunch of age-related parameters. Uh, I'm not going to show too many slides, but the paper is down there. You can go find it. Just one slide on the mice. Um, this is looking at frailty by age. Uh, and you can see, maybe I'll point to this, um, you can see that uh, the frailty in the control animals in blue goes up quite a bit faster than the frailty in the alpha ketoglutarate treated animals. Uh, this is months of age after the intervention. The problem with looking at it this way is that animals are dying along the way. So if you take this animal that has very high frailty at 23 months, it's dead by 25 months. And so that makes the analysis a little bit hard. So what we did after all the animals died is recalibrate the frailty measures to the percent of the lifespan of the animal when we took the measures. So 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, et cetera. You can see uh, the frailty goes up pretty steadily in the control animals and it's about 50% reduced in the alpha ketoglutarate treated animals. This is females, it's also true in males. And so what we wanna argue is that this uh, compound uh, compresses morbidity. It extends lifespan by a small amount, maybe 10%, but it has a dramatic effect on health span. And if that, per, if that were true in humans, that would be a great molecule. It's also shown to have a good effect with other aspects of aging, especially for the skin. It is intimately involved with the creation of collagen in the body, lessens the size of wrinkles, increases hydration to the skin, reduces the permeability of the skin barrier, and as I mentioned, it also rejuvenates the stem cell pools, which as you can imagine, is one of the very most important things of aging. All these improvements also apply to the most important barrier in your body, which is the gut. That makes your gut less leaky, which makes you less prone to allergic reactions and other autoimmune issues. While it is often suggested to use glutamine for gut issues, AKG is much more safe in this regard. Glutamine can be used by cancer to grow, while AKG cannot. In fact, it's shown to have strong protective effects against colon cancer in animal experiments. It also dramatically lowers gut inflammation and increases the positive gut bacteria while decreasing the negative ones. As with fasting and vinegar, AKG has a direct effect on macrophages, switching them from the harmful pro-inflammatory version of the M2 phenotype over to the M2 phenotype. And these M2 macrophages are anti-inflammatory and they are the only ones that repair the damage of aging to the body. This is vitally important as it is the M1 pro-inflammatory macrophages that consume the vast majority of the NAD plus we lose as we age. As with taurine, alpha ketoglutarate is involved with nearly all protein synthesis in the body. And also as with taurine, it has been shown to have a strong effect on preventing or reversing scarring in organs, also known as fibrosis. That's why they can both help with heart failure. They strengthen the mitochondria in the heart and they remove fibrosis. In the liver, AKG provides energy to stressed or hypoxic cells, which saves them from apoptosis. This is because it can be used as an alternative source of energy when there's nothing else that the cell is able to use because it's insulin resistant. This is especially important for stem cells, and it seems to be universal among all types of stem cells in the body. It also helps with lung fibrosis and likely helps with scars on the skin as well. I had surprisingly good results with taurine for scars and I would bet that AAKG helps here as well. In mice studies, it kept mice from getting fat on an unhealthy diet and even helped reverse fatty liver disease. If that were not enough, it has also been shown to brown the fat cells, that is to create more mitochondria in them. This leads to enhanced fat burning and a higher BMR in the body. It's also been shown that a gene which contributes to Alzheimer's is now known to do so because it inhibits AKG levels in the body. 
So it would make sense to supplement AKG if you may be at risk. If you have higher AKG levels, then this provides an alternative source of energy for your stressed out cells. And it also provides greater cleanup of the damage that's causing these problems and insulin resistance in the first place. It also seems to be involved with sleep deprivation and depression and supplementing AKG could also help in those areas. In fact, it probably helps with all mental illness because it reduces neuroinflammation and it provides energy to these overworked cells, which is often what causes problems because they deplete themselves and then they die off. Alpha ketoglutarate is also a precursor to GABA, which means it could help greatly with anxiety issues. On top of all of this, it increases both glutathione and superoxide dismutase in the body, which are the two most important antioxidants. It also increases fertility, including both the quality of eggs produced and the age at which they can be produced, extending the time that women can be fertile. It also helps in osteoporosis, lowering blood sugars, insulin resistance, muscle growth, and for exercise performance. It's also shown to increase max strength in trained athletes. Alpha ketoglutarate also keeps proteins from degrading and helps scavenge and reform damaged protein. This helps keep muscle from degrading, which is very helpful in exercise performance and in aging. This also allows it to neutralize ammonia which is very important to many conditions, but especially when it comes to liver damage. It also has hundreds of other functions in the body, with many of them being relatively recent discoveries, and I expect that we're going to have more and more of them pop up, and there's many areas where it's obvious it's going to help, but it just hasn't been studied. While substances like NMN have a great deal of marketing behind them, this relatively obscure keto acid has an amazing number of mechanisms that can help your body maintain its youth and also increase NAD+. Whatever your goals, AKG can help you to be the best possible you. I hope it doesn't sound arrogant when I say that I am the greatest man in the world. <laughs> Gentlemen, to the future. Oh, you don't have any glasses. Just pretend.